How many of you out there suffer from period pains? And how painful is that pain on a scale of 1 to 10? Every woman, I bet you, every woman will say to us it's a 10. Well, there's this condition called endometriosis. 1 in 10 women suffer from it. Well, there are some women that suffer from it and don't even know it. And one of the symptoms is extreme period pain. On today's episode, we'll find out everything about endometriosis. My name is Olinda, this is Original, so let's go! Hi everyone, I'm Olinda Cho and on today's episode of Original, we shall be talking about endometrosis. I have with me Namira, she shall be sharing with us her journey on endometrosis. And we also have Bati from NUH. Well, I guess the first question on everyone's mind is, what is endometriosis? So endometriosis is where the lining of the uterus, commonly known as the endometrium, is outside of the uterus within the pelvic cavity. And yeah. for Namira, how did you find out that you were suffering from this condition? Okay, I found out that I have endometriosis. Um, rather, I was told that I might have endometriosis. Uh, that was in 2012 as well. Um, I was doing well. Um, I have um, a job that I dream of mm -hmm. and um, I was pretty much doing great in life. Uh, everything was good, was in a good relationship. And then uh, suddenly my menstruation becomes very painful and every month it started to be more painful to the extent I started um, feeling nauseous, I started um, fainting and stuff like that. So it was crazy, so it affected my work. So when I was being pushed to one doctor to another doctor, they are pretty much telling me that don't worry, um, this is something common. But when you feel your body, you are losing um, yourself, you are losing your health, your stamina, everything just goes away, um, in, yeah, months after months. So it's, it's like you're very scared, you know, you're losing your health already. Yeah. And then you, you are not sure what's, what's this really happening with me. No one is able to give you with the answers, provide you with all this, uh, this uh, you know, comfort. There's uh, no reasoning to yeah, what's happening. Yeah, that's true. To the extent that, you know, when my doctor told me that they find nothing, I even my large intestine was clear, right? So the doctor told me that, you know, maybe you are, it's just you, maybe you think too much of the pain. So, gosh, it's like they don't take the, the pain seriously. Eh? Yeah, so that happened for two years now. Why is it so hard to d detect? I, I just... Uh, because you cannot look at a person um, and say that they have endometriosis. But the golden diagnostic tool for endometriosis is actually laparoscopy, which is like keyhole surgery. Okay, there is no cure for endometriosis. Okay. So, no medication that you can Oh yeah, take. so there's no cure. However, it, if, it, um, if you are seen early, we can put you on some medical treatment, which can help control the pain. Eventually, um, it didn't take me long to fall into depression. And at point of time as well, um, my relationship soured down. So my, uh, that point of time, ex-boyfriend uh, broke up with me. When he told me that, he told me that why he should be with me when I am 10 times sicker. Okay, and you were going to get married? Or? We have plans for it. So, uh, it's a short-lived one, but um, it's very, it's upsetting to me that people are still looking women with a label yep. like that. You know, it's like um, your womb is, is like an identity. If your womb is working, uh, uh, then you're a good woman. Uh. I attempted suicide twice and um, it was the last, uh, the, the last one that I felt very angry because I wasn't able to really proceed with it. I was so scared. So I felt so angry. I don't know what's hap what happened to me. I just went straight to IMH, crying and wailing. I told the nurse that I just want to kill myself. I don't want to leave. It was a place that I need to be. Lah, to realise that, you know, my life does not end by me having endometriosis. Rather, I have to uh, make use of whatever that, that I have left and make full use of my life. Lah. And then I pretty much um, plan out my life, you know, there. Wow. <laughs> so I plan, okay, if I were to come up from this place, um, I would open up a campaign. I would create awareness um, and I would start research on endometriosis further. My parents have been giving me with all these tools and knowledge, 
has always been there for me, loved me. Supportive. Very supportive, but I wasn't able to see all this until I was there. So when I came out, I told them, I'm sorry, I feel that I feel you, but I'm, 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 I need your support more now. Uh, I will come out stronger. This is my plan, you know, this, this kind of thing. So they were like, okay. They told me that, you know, they are all out for me. They will support me, do whatever that I feel best for me. And then, yeah, they try to understand. At the point of time, I didn't um, come across and you hit you. <laughs> <laughs> so I started out with what I call as my own campaign, E for Endometriosis. And then I come across people who are also suffering from the same uh, symptoms. And then I realized that I'm not alone. So I talked to more doctors and eventually I got to know that there is this one doctor that I have been seeking treatment. He is, he is brilliant because he was able to excise the uh, endometriosis growth which is on the bowel wall. Right. So all this while, you know, I'm not crazy. Lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? But I think you're very inspiring because <laughs> when you hit rock bottom, you actually came back up fighting, right? You're tired of being a victim. You start this campaign. But it wasn't easy lah. Cause when I tried to explain my mom first ah, my mom was, was telling me that it's uh, uh, maybe it's fibroid lah. So I realized that, yeah, the knowledge is not there. I guess it's very uh, important for the society to understand that and to accept us for who we are individually rather than our womb lah. Right. Just because uh, we have problems with issues with our body or problems with our reproductive system, that doesn't make us any less of a woman. Uh. So I hear that now you're into bodybuilding. Can mm. you share with us more about it? Okay. What makes me uh, interested in bodybuilding was the fact that how my body, my physique change and how I look. Mm -hmm. And when you see your physique change, Nicely, yeah. <laughs> you have that confidence, you know, like, hey, despite I have all this, uh, your focus uh, switch already. So you feel so, stronger, yeah, better, right, yes. faster. Correct, correct. What happened was, okay, bodybuilding competition is very straightforward. You go up to the stage, right, and then you pose for a minute. But there is this one competition that allows um, an introduction to the competitors. So um, at that point of time, we do have... Uh, um, a bikini a segment and I feel that this is necessary because not because I want to strut and show off my nice physique but it's, it's okay if you want to I mean if you can go for it man but it's rather to show the nice scars that I have on my stomach due to the surgeries uh, that I have for my endometriosis. Knife scar? Nine uh, surgical. Nine scars? Nine keyhole surgery scars. Oh okay. So with this scars right I would want people to start questioning and this would be a good uh, starting conversation once I'm done with the competition. I, I feel that, you know, whatever happened in your life, right, it is your choice to, um, to make uh, do with it or you just have to make use of it. So make use of it and make something out of it. So this is what I believe and yeah, I just made out something out of it, you know. Like what would you advise? That the other the women out there who, who are suffering or suspect that they're suffering from this, what is the first step that they should do? I think they should seek, um, see a doctor who is actually experienced with endometriosis and um, yes, don't suffer in silence because there's the theme, right? And don't blame yourself because huh? this thing is something that um, for sure, we wouldn't expect it. We wouldn't want it. It happens. It's not your fault. So don't blame yourself. Mm. And the guys also, please support your women. Yeah. I guess the message to all the girls out there is to remember that you're never, ever alone. And if you need something, you really do have to open up and let, let us know. I hope that someday I could be as strong as you are. Oh. Okay, well, you can actually cause I have a program for you if you want to try it out. What do you mean program? Program. I pretty much want to torture you la, if you are out for it. Bring it on. If it's going to make me sexier, I'll go for it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on Original. So, let's find out what's going to happen to me on, on this, this torture program that she's, she's created for me. <laughs> See ya, bye! <laughs> So Namira has got me down to Blue Gym today. She wants to test my level of fitness. I think I'm generally quite fit, la, but let, let's see what she's going to make me do. Alright, since I'm known for my butt, so we're going to do butt day today. Comprises of four stations. First one would be kickback. The second one would be one and a half squat, 
third one would be uh, lunges and the fourth one would be pushing prowler. What's pushing prowler? Who's prowler? So we're gonna check it out. You ready? Alright, let's go work my butt. So it's one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Let's go! I think physical strength is one thing, but the lesson I've learned today is mental strength. You've got to have mental strength if you want to succeed. And I think that is the best lesson that Namira taught me today. And I can understand why endometriosis had no, no chance against you because you're just too strong. Thank you. Thank you. So see you guys next week on Original.